hey Trinity students. Uh, so I know you guys might have a lot of questions as to what's going on and uh, you know we're kind of in a in a really uh, difficult spot as a as a country you know with the coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic and uh, with school being canceled and uh, I'm sure many of you have already heard that Trinity Bible Church is canceling all of their Sunday services and their midweek activities uh, at least for the foreseeable future um, and you know I want to I want to just say a couple things to you I want to encourage you um, I want to uh, kind of put some things before you some things that maybe you can look forward to uh, during this time firstly I want to encourage you with one one idea. Um, there's only one throne, and God sits on it. Um, that's something that we uh, we believe as followers of Jesus is that God is completely sovereign. He's completely in control, um, and that there's nothing that is surprising to Him. There's nothing that is uh, really throwing Him off guard. And so, what that means is not that God is condoning or approves of. Uh, suffering of other people or kind of the chaos that we might experience uh, because of this. Um, but it does mean that he works all things together for the good of those who love him. And that's a tremendous hope that we can hold on to. Um, actually, in the book of Hebrews, it talks about uh, this this hope that we can hold on to. It, it talks about how it's an anchor for our souls. It's something that's firm and secure. And so I want to invite you firstly into that, uh, that whatever doubts or anxieties you might have about what's happening in our world right now, um, to, to kind of filter them through what God's word says about um, who, who God is and, and how we can live in light of those realities. As far as uh, Trinity Student Ministries are concerned, you know, obviously we won't be having our uh, Genesis or Mosaic house group gatherings um, for the next foreseeable future, at least for the next few weeks. And so with that, I, what I don't want to happen is for you guys to stop being family, for you guys to stop loving each other. Uh, there's more ways uh, than just having one time per week to be able to do that. Uh, one of the wonderful things about technology is that we can connect with each other in various ways, whether that be FaceTime or, or texting or phone call or, or group chats. Uh, I want to encourage that. Um, I also want to encourage if, you know, you're kind of wrestling with some of this stuff, um, you, you have some fears and some worries, you know, we we want to encourage you to reach out to your leaders. We want you to um, feel free uh, to, to text the leader and say, hey, here's where I'm at, or, or to, to text someone who's in your small group and say, you know, I'm, I'm really worried about this. Will you pray with me? Um, that's what we're here for. Uh, ministry doesn't just happen on, on Wednesday nights or Sunday mornings. Uh, the ministry that we get to be a part of as a church extends to every second of every day of our lives. And we can invite each other into wherever we're at, whether that be good, bad, or ugly. Um, and if, if you're sitting here and you're like, man, uh, I'm excited about uh, what God could do through this, um, then I want to call something to your attention. God has given you a peace uh, that is for you, but it's not just for you. It's something that you can pass on to, to your friends, to uh, the people that you normally uh, engage with on a weekly basis, whether they know Jesus or not. Um, God calls us to be his ambassadors in his word, uh, that, that we can be a spokesperson for God to, to declare truth and to remind people of what is real. So overall, you know, amidst the changes, there's a few things that you guys might be seeing um, come up in our in our social platforms and on our website and in our on our app. Uh, we want to encourage you guys to engage on Sunday mornings. We're going to have a uh, a video teaching on Sunday mornings, and then we're also throughout the week we're just going to have some short devotionals that we're going to share with you guys. Some of them are just going to be our thoughts and some of our musings about what God's teaching us. Uh, but then there's this one uh, one thing that I really want you guys to consider being a part of. On Wednesday nights, uh, we are actually going to be having a prayer gathering uh, through a, an online uh, video hosting platform called Zoom. And uh, that that's a link that we'll make sure to get sent out to you. Uh, but above all of uh, this chaos, uh, God is in control and we can only do so much. And so one of those things that we can do is go to God and ask him uh, for what we need and, and help, ask him to help us to trust him and to help us navigate uh, through this time. 
So I'm praying for you and I'm always here uh, for you. You can call me, you can text me. My number is 319-215-7529. I'll be around for the next foreseeable future. Uh, I'll be right in this with you. Uh, So feel free to give me a call or text me anytime. I love you guys and Jesus loves you.